As of this week, I have spent half my entire life writing music. Sixteen years ago, at age 16, I got my first composer gig. And I see this gig as the moment I decided to become a composer, setting me down the path to writing music seriously. I'm incredibly proud that I've been able to dedicate half my time on earth to this absolutely fantastic art form. So the gig was a tiny commission for the BBC Proms. I'd recently won the BBC Proms Young Composer Award, which gives me a prom premiere of a really bizarre knockoff Steve Reich percussion piece. The sort of piece that only the proms would have ever had the budget to put on, as it had six percussionists and a piano. I've left a link to that particular piece um, in the description and it's what you're hearing just now in the background. That was an incredible experience. It was my first uh, professional performance as well. But what came after this set me on the road to wanting to be a composer. I wrote that funky minimalist piece for fun and submitted it to the proms competition and thought nothing else of it. But after that performance, part of the process of the competition was to be commissioned for a new work for the following prom season. This is where I got the bug for composing in a really big way. And this is because it was the first time I'd been asked to write a piece. Up until then it had just been fun and now I've been asked to write a piece and I found that truly exciting. So the piece that I was asked to write um, was for a really fabulous ensemble. Um, alto saxophone, bass clarinet, violin, viola and cello. And 16 year old Tom really loved that ensemble. And I really felt the pressure, but somehow the piece was born. It was due to be recorded by members of the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra at City Hall's Glasgow. And I thought I'd be able to go along and say a few things, make a few suggestions and generally have an enjoyable kind of backseat role as these amazing professionals played my music. But when I arrived at the hall, the violinist, Bernie Doherty, came up and said, how would you feel about conducting this? It would make everything so much easier. So having conducted a couple of things at school, I was flung in front of five of the UK's finest musicians playing my music with some genuinely obtuse weird time signatures that any professional conductor would want to get under the fingers with confidence, not some terrified 16 year old who'd only listened to the MIDI playback and didn't really know how to conduct correctly at all. But it was this exhilaration, this visceral experience that made me want to be a composer. Being right on the cool face of my music being recorded and having a hands-on experience with these musicians at such a young age truly lit the fire within me to want to be a composer. I trace this experience back to why I have dedicated half my life to writing music. I write on days off, downtime is spent living in music. I'm so privileged that over the last 16 years, half my life, I've been able to live my life in music. I'm a full-time musician, I lecture and teach, and my career has taken me to dwell in the kind of halfway house between classical and the media worlds, which I absolutely love. I guess my top highlights from the half of my life spent in music is writing, conducting a massive piece for 200 young performers. That was unbelievably special and I'll never forget working with so many amazing young people coming together to make music. Um, that, that was a truly, a real privilege for me to be able to do that. I guess another one was writing a new work that opened the last night of BBC Proms a few years back. That was pretty, pretty special. I'm also one of the only composers to have a piece broadcast live simultaneously on Radio 3 and Radio 4. And Radio 4 don't really do music ever. Yeah, that's quite a big thing. Uh, another one breaking Guinness World Record for the largest number of people playing the piano at one time. And I feel privileged day in, day out, that I'm able to say that I write music for a living and people want to hear it and people want to play it and I guess I'm just taking this chance to reflect on that. More music to come next week but I thought I would just mark my composer half-life in this little video. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.